Everything from groceries to gas costs significantly more today than a year ago. And while we can't change the price tags at the store or at the gas pump, we can change how much money we're bringing in. Bankrate.com senior analyst Ted Rossman is joining me live this morning to talk about how Americans are supplementing their income. Ted, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I wanted to kind of set up the problem here, Ted, first. Just simply, why are people doing this? Why do they feel compelled to get another job? Increasingly, it's out of necessity. We found that 41% of today's side hustlers are using most of that money for day-to-day -day expenses. And that's up 10 percentage points from 31% three years ago. We saw corresponding drops in other things. Fewer people are using this money to splurge on, let's say, a vacation or some other discretionary expense. Fewer people are boosting their savings. Not that many people are paying down debt. This has really become mostly a day-to-day -day living story, unfortunately. We have a graphic, uh, some information that Bankrate provided that we've kind of put together in, in a graphic form, just kind of going over this, uh, some of the main points. You hit on the 41%, that's a 10 percentage point bump from just three years ago. Women and older millennials most likely to do side gigs. Any insight onto why that is? The gender pay gap on side hustles is huge. We found that the average male side hustler brings in about $1,500 a month. For women, it's just 571 on average. Wow. And that's unfortunate. It's, it's hard to explain other than to say, this is just more evidence of the gender pay gap, which we see with full-time jobs as well, because we looked into the prevalence of male and female side hustlers. It's pretty similar. The number of hours worked is pretty similar. The top side hustle for men is landscaping or home repair. For women, it's babysitting or childcare. I'm not sure that those jobs would pay all that differently. So it's kind of hard to explain, but a big difference there. Yeah, that is significant in terms of millennials versus Gen Z versus Gen X. Why do you think the millennials, and especially older millennials, are, are going toward this? I think that some of it may be cost pressure, this idea that they're trying to pay off student loans, they're trying to buy homes, raise kids. These are all expensive years. Um, so I think there's a very practical element. I like to think, and anecdotally, I've seen some evidence that there's also a more positive reason for some of this, which is the passion project. Somebody who is trying to work on something on the side that maybe can't fully support their lifestyle right now, but maybe this hobby could turn into something bigger down the line. And that could be anything from crafting to some sort of graphic design or web-based kind of idea or, or so many more things. Um, I'll tell you, I used to want to be a sports announcer and I spent a few years writing about sports on the side. It was fun. It kept me involved in the industry. I made a little bit of money doing it. I think sometimes a side hustle can represent a passion project. I'm interested too, Ted, in your research and again, senior industry analyst at Bankrate. What are the projects that people should be going after, the side gigs that pay out the most and that are the most worth your time? Because some, as you know, you get into some side gigs and it's like, oh, $100 for like three weeks of work. Or, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's important to think about that total package. So with gas prices so high right now, I'm seeing a lot of people leaving industries like ride sharing and food delivery. It's just not worth mm -hmm. it in some cases with gas prices that high. So I actually think nowadays the pendulum has shifted more to the home-based stuff. We see crafting is very popular. Other forms of online sales, whether it's on eBay or another marketplace like that, um, these are some of the things that you still need to think about the inputs, like what is your materials cost and how much time are you putting in and what kind of prices should you charge? Um, but I think high gas prices are a big part of why fewer people are side hustling now versus three and four years ago. I would also note, despite some of the doom and gloom in the economy with inflation, the job market is good right now. So that is another thing that maybe more people are making it work with the primary job. But again, there's a lot of people side hustling out of necessity. So it's this kind of tale of two economies there. And Ted, the final question here, are we seeing um, what kind of range of salaries are we seeing? People taking on side gigs. Are people with six figures still doing side gigs? Is this more like on the lower income bracket? What are you seeing there? 
It's really all of the above. Um, we see that the average side hustle income is about a thousand bucks a month. The median is 400, but we really see people throughout the income spectrum supplementing their income in this fashion. Very interesting. Well, Ted Rossman with Bankrate, thank you, bankrate.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Very interesting today. My pleasure, thank you.